Hey everyone, for today's how-to video, I'll be talking about the effect a lot of CGI uses green screens. Because I'm currently having some issues getting footage, I'll be using my favorite program, Poser, to help me out with this, but what I go over will be applicable to any footage you've got. To start, what is green screening? Green screen, technically called chroma keying, is a special effect technique used to layer one image or piece of footage over another. These images are typically shot over a solid sheet of very uncommon colors, such as bright green or blue. Pretty much every news broadcast, show, and film uses this since it makes it much easier to add effects and footage together, including placing actors in virtual environments. The effect itself uses the hues of those screens, known as a chroma range, to choose which parts of the image are hidden and which are shown. So how do we actually use it? For my example, I'm going to be using Poser and After Effects, but it works pretty much the same in Premiere and from what I understand, Sony Vegas and every other professional video editing software that's available. So in your editing program, we're going to need a composition with at least two pieces of footage. The footage on the top of your stack will be the one with the colored screen, with anything under it being the footage that you want to show as the background. We then select the footage with the screen and go to our effects menu. What we're looking for is under the keying sub menu. These are all different ways of getting transparencies into your footage, but for the purposes of this video, we'll focus on the effect called color range. In the effect controls window, we'll now see the options for our key, which is how we decide what's hidden and what isn't. Starting at the top, there's a preview of your key, which starts out completely white because everything will be visible. To set the color of our key, we use the top eyedropper and click in the footage on the color we want to hide. Not all footage is going to be uniformly lit, so the color you pick won't make everything in the screen vanish. To fix that, we've got the other two eyedroppers and some more settings. Directly under that first eyedropper, there are two eyedroppers with a plus and a minus symbol. The first will add more colors to your key, and the other will remove colors from your key that you didn't mean to hide. Sometimes though, this can get really tedious if the lighting led to a lot of variations in the screen's shading. To fix this, we can change the fuzziness. Fuzziness, in this context, basically means the same thing as tolerance. The lower it is, the more specific it will be to the colors and shades you've selected with the eyedropper, and the higher it is, the looser the color selection will be. Be careful though, because if you give it too much fuzziness, the transparency will start leaking into the subject, which is usually not something you want unless you're going for something very specific. If you have an edge of green around your subject, instead of going after all of that color, there are a few other ways to deal with the issue. The first is called a garbage mat. What this is, basically, is adding a mask to your footage using the pen or shape tools. Doing this, you can make a mask around the subject of the footage, keeping it as close as possible to said subject. If your subject's moving, you can also animate the mask's path to follow them. And if you really wanted to, you could actually use this to mask the subject and forego the green screen entirely. But if you've got a lot of motion or a really complex subject, I'd recommend just making a blocky selection around it and then apply the key effect to the area that's left. There's also a few other effects you can add to refine things instead of going after every little bit of color. Under the keying menu, you'll find the advanced spill suppressor effect. Adding this will give you the option to increase the suppression, which will mask out edges of an existing mat or key, such as the color range creates. If there's still areas that are being an issue after that, you can then add another effect. Under the matte effects submenu, there's something called the matte choker. What this does, as you might imagine, is gives you controls over how soft the matte is, change how far it reaches inside or outside the selection you've made, which is called the choke, and choose how many times this will be applied to your mat. After all of that comes the most important step. At least, I think the most important step. It's the difference between a good and bad green screen effect, and while obviously getting your mat as refined as possible is really important to the whole thing, this is what makes it believable. The key to green screening, in my opinion, is layering your footage and effects. As I've gone over in my secondary animations fundamentals video, the key to any good film, cartoon, or animation is having everything interact. It might be a bit dated, but I would point to examples like Who Framed Roger Rabbit to see what I'm talking about. You can believe the world in that movie because the actors seem like they are genuinely interacting with the cartoons. As a side note, this is also a good rule of thumb for good photo manipulations and illustrations. In the exact same way, you likely want to layer everything together there as well. Using effects, lighting, masking, transformations, color grading, and anything else you might need, you can make it seem like 
everything you're showing really is existing in the same space. Even if it's a cartoon, believability is a really good thing to keep in mind because it adds a little bit extra to the whole thing. Also, as a last note specific to Poser, if you want to get a green screen into your scene, you can go into the display menu at the top and a ways down the menu, pick background color. From the window that opens up, change the background color, choose green, and when you render, your scene will now have a green screen. And that was a look at basic green screening. As always, I hope you've all learned something and enjoyed yourself doing it. If you have any questions, thoughts, or other feedback, you can let me know with a comment down below. You can also like this video and share it around, which helps with Google's rankings, and I'm planning to be back here every Friday, so be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Have a great day, everyone. No!